Several conditions can lead to uh, sudden cardiac death in young athletes. Let's talk about the most common one, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Can you right. talk about that? Yeah, that, that represents probably about 25 or 30 percent of the causes of, of sudden death. It is uh, at times hereditary, at times is not. And we talked a little bit about the athlete's heart. The difference is that these individuals have thickening of the heart muscle, hypertrophied hearts. But if you look at that muscle, it's not normal. I mean, it's sort of crisscrossing, and it's um, very random um, and very bizarre. Uh, and it's not normal muscle, and the key is to distinguish it from what we would call the athlete's heart. But it is the most common. It, it often only presents with sudden death. In other words, there's not always a prodrome or something that's going to identify who is going to die suddenly. Um, these people, uh, individuals, often have normal physical exams. They don't necessarily have a family history, and they don't often have symptoms. You know, one of the things as a pediatric cardiologist we see a lot of are um, uh, young athletes coming to us or just teenagers coming to us with a complaint of chest pain. Um, chest pain in, in young people is almost never um, cardiovascular in origin. And it's interesting that the couple of people that I've, uh, you know, teenagers have identified with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy actually present with another symptom, and that's what we call syncope or fainting with exertion. That's sort of a hallmark often of the first symptom that someone with this disease may have, or they may have a strong family history of, some, of individuals who died early uh, of sudden death, um, and, and they were identified as having hypertrophic myopathy. But unfortunately, often the first thing that happens is they either pass out with syncope or they're dying while they're playing um, uh, a sport, and even though they had a baseline physical exam, um, nothing was really identified.